good dingly morning to y'all. Do we look cute? We are geared up <laughs> and ready for our Dingle Sea Safari on the Dingle Peninsula in the town of Dingle. Dingle, 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 Dingle. Uh, so we booked through the Dingle Sea Safari, like I said, and we are going on a rib boat to do a water tour of the Dingle Peninsula. It should be about two and a half hours, and we're hoping to see some animals. You can see, there's a potential to see whales. I don't think it's that likely. Um, dolphins are a little more likely, and then lots of people say that they see seals. So They did mention when we checked in that yesterday's trip was canceled because the weather was so bad and that they've actually had to start pre-canceling the rest of the week. So they think today is the only day that it's going to happen. So Will we survive? Well, no. She said that the seas were extra calm today, which made Candace feel at ease, but it's kind of crazy. We literally picked this day seven months ago, <laughs> and somehow right now it's the only one going. But uh, this is a beautiful seaside town. We're going to do a little shimmy over here, and you can see some very colorful restaurants. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to go right there for lunch at Dano's Bar. Super famous for their fish and chips. I might see another pint of Guinness in my future, but yep, we are all geared up. Oops, I can't do that. In the world's cutest safety attire. We're ready to, to sail the seven seas, matey. After a leisurely stroll out of the harbor, we started our tour by seeing our first sea arch and then we entered a sea cave. Then we boated over to Great Blasket Island. This island has been mostly uninhabited since the 1950s, but you can still rent a room at the hostel here if you don't mind having the island completely to yourself. It was on the beach here that we were able to see harbor seals for the first time. Depending on the time of year, there can be as many as 5,000 seals on this beach. From Great Blasket Island, we went to go see Cathedral Rock, which is pretty appropriately named, we think. They're located in the Isle of Ennisnebro, which is part of the Blasket Islands. These towering rock formations covered in the rich green moss were absolutely stunning to look at. Then we started heading away from the Blasket Islands when our guide noticed some red stags on top of the island named Inish Vicoline. These majestic deer roam the island free from predators. They were originally brought here to be hunted, but have since been left alone and enjoy their island life. Finally, it was time for what some may consider the best part, looking for sea life. We headed out to the open water a bit to start our lookout. After only a few minutes, we spotted dolphins. We must have seen dozens of dolphins hunting and playing alongside the boat. This wasn't our first time seeing dolphins, but we've never been this close nor seen so many before. Unfortunately, our two and a half hour tour had to come to an end and we headed back to Dingletown the same way we left. We had such an amazing time on this boat and we both highly recommend booking the Dingle Sea Safari for your next Dingle excursion. We 
we have gotten off of the Dingle Sea Safari, as you can tell. We got a lovely bite to eat in Dingle. Candace had the fish and chips, and I had an incredible Guinness beef stew. And now we're so full, I don't think we want to continue our, our trip today, but no, we're, we're going to have to. Very tired and ready for a nap. Yeah, I was off. Also, no one threw up on the boat, so that's positive. Which is a bonus. That trip was incredible. Uh, so as you guys saw, we saw harbor seals, we saw red stags, we saw... Lots of dolphins. Yeah, two types of dolphins, the common dolphin and the bottlenose dolphin. I'd never seen a common dolphin. They're pretty tiny, uh, so that was pretty neat. Um, yeah, if you guys are ever in Dingle, you'd have to be in Ireland first, but if you're ever in the area, <laughs> you should definitely check out that sea safari because that was, that was incredible. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you can see the sign behind us. But we have pulled over to a roadside attraction called Hold a Baby <laughs> Lamb, where guess what you get to do? That's right, we are going fishing here. <laughs> so this is a farmer who decided to set up a little roadside attraction right at his farm, and you pay, it was four euro. Mm -hmm. So we're super excited to see how many lambs we can hold at one time. Uh, a dream of mine has always been to hold a lamb in each arm. Uh, which is odd, I know. Some people dream about <laughs> success and fortune. It's Just not, Has that always been a dream of It's yours? always been a dream of mine to hold a lamb in each arm. Um, so yeah, we're going to go up here, see what they have going on, hold as many lambs as we can, and then we are going to continue around the Dingle Peninsula. my new lamb. This is uh, filling in the empty hole in my heart with Riley <laughs> overseas right now. Isn't that right, Riley Jr.? We're taking them home with us. Final stop on the Dingle Peninsula. I'm just keeping an eye on this uh, water line that keeps encroaching <laughs> upon us. We've moved several times already. It's a beach. And yeah, this is Cloudger Beach, Cloudger Strand. I also saw online. I'm not sure which is a strand and what's the beach. So you can park in the parking lot and walk literally one minute to the beach. There is also a loop that kind of takes you up on the cliff. And I think it was a one and a half mile loop if you wanted to do the whole thing, but you can also just walk out to the beach from the far part. That's what we did. I'm still very full from my lunch. The drive pen. is beautiful. Oh my gosh, yeah, that was gorgeous. And it wasn't scary. I kind of thought that it was going to be a little scary because a couple spots were like single lane roads, but honestly, it, it was pretty straightforward. There are steep drop-offs, but they do have walls, which is nice. Luckily for us, we came up from the south, so the steep drop-offs were on Candace's side of the car, so that wasn't really an issue for me at all. From here, we are actually going to head back to our Airbnb in Friars. 
Killarney. Mm -hmm. We are going to do a tour of this house because it used to be a stable uh, and it is probably one of the cutest places that we've stayed on this entire trip. Um, I don't know if it's going to be tonight because I'm exhausted or if it's going to be in the morning before we leave. Uh, since this is Riley Rome's, I would put 80% chance it's going to be on in the morning before we leave. I'm sorry, I'm really struggling to, to put my sentences together. You should fear for Candace and my parents because I'm the one driving the car. So let's see how this goes. But All right, so we will see you guys at the house tour. If we're wearing these clothes, it's the same night. If it's a different set of clothes, it's in the morning. But we'll see you all back at the house for the tour. Welcome to Killarney. So we wanted to show off this small but super charming Airbnb we've been staying in for a couple of nights in Killarney. So here is the very nice kitchen. I love all the wood accents they used in here. It is a full-size kitchen, so it's got everything you could want to cook any meals. And then the kitchen leads into the very comfy living area. Very comfy chairs, another wood stove, and then a very cute, quaint little sitting area to eat your meals. And you'll often see a kitty in the window as well. <laughs> And then through this door over here, you've got one of the two bedrooms. Each bedroom is identical and they both have an ensuite bathroom. Another cute space, which we didn't use when we were here, but it would be pretty nice if you had a couple of kids traveling along with you, is just up these stairs. So up the stairs, there's a nice little loft area, which is open to the downstairs, so it's not totally private. But you've got two single beds and a chair up here and a window looking out at the garden in the back. Um, they also have gates at the stairs, so super helpful if you have little kids that you don't want running up and down the stairs all of the time. Well, that is gonna wrap it up for our time in the Killarney area. Uh, we had a great time on the Dingle Peninsula yesterday. If you guys are ever exploring Ireland, don't sleep on the Dingle. <laughs> don't sleep on the Dingle Peninsula. You gotta go, it was, it was out of this world. We've seen some incredible places on this trip and I think the Dingle Peninsula is super high on my list. So in the next video, we'll be leaving this area and checking out Blarney Castle potentially kissing the stone, depending on if it's a two or three hour wait, then I'm not kissing the stone. Um, heading into Cork, probably, which is a cute little town, very close to Blarney Castle, maybe getting some lunch or something there. And then we're also going to see the Rock of Cashel on our way up to the Dublin area. So we'll, we'll see y'all at Blarney. Blarney. We were just packing up the camera equipment when our friend decided to give us one last visit. This is one of the many barn cats that has been hanging out with us and also trying to get inside the Airbnb every time we go outside. But I guess he just wanted to pop in and say goodbye. Bye buddy. <laughs> oh yeah, he's doing pretty good on you actually. Why do you like my pants? Thanks for watching Riley Roams. Please subscribe to our channel to keep up with all of our travels. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave us a comment below about your favorite part of this video.